Hey guys, we're back. Red Bale and Ben versus Nurture Bond. I think this is looking pretty hype. Uh, first and second place of our last tournament with uh, Ishiban and Nurse, who I think had a pretty good showing in the last matchup. I'm joined here by Burning, by Burn, Burn, Burning Knight, Burn for short. I don't know. Oh, thank you. We appreciate it. I'm being told to get close to the mic. Yeah. All right. Yeah, our other two casters are in the doubles tournament, so they'll be coming in and out intermittently. Uh, I think it's looking pretty good so far. Ness taking a lot of damage really early, but I think that's to be expected. I don't know, maybe just trying to focus one person down, trying to knock them out of the pocket. Yeah, that's definitely a pretty good idea to focus down one person. You always gotta watch out for teammates. Of course. I mean, it's doubles for a reason. You, if, if you could just focus on one person, what's the difference with singles? So, you know, it's, it's a team game. Yeah, and apparently I have not, so I can't cast anymore. Shrug. Hello. It's me. Feeling kind of lonely, but it's okay. Each spawn coming in. <laughs> oh, that was a really nice back throw. The few times Cloud has ever killed with a throw. Really nice up airs coming off the ledge. Throwing out a lot of big hitboxes for those nares. Uh, Red Bayo playing Sheik, which is kind of strange. Let's see. Nurshaban actually ahead by a stock, which is really at two stocks now. It's really interesting. I guess it goes to show that even if you play well in singles, you're not going to win if you do it in doubles. That's the thing. One, Red Bayo is not playing. One, Red Bayo is not playing Bayonetta. He's playing Red Sheik right here. But jokes aside, singles and doubles, the difference between it is the synergy. Because your grabs, your true combos, or your confirmed stocks can be interrupted. Mm, Ichiban Fallen, that cloud recovery just not quite good enough. You know, that's that's pretty much his biggest weakness right there. It's, it's, it's really difficult to recover with cloud. Oh, up the shake stage spike coming out from Nurse. Oh, we tech those. Didn't. Yeah, I know he didn't, but we do. Why is it positive? Why? Are we gonna take a stock? I don't think they have any stocks to take. Oh, apparently we're having some technical difficulties. The TV went off. How did the TV go I, I don't know how the TV went off. And we're getting started again. Sorry about that. The TV was off for whatever reason. Oh, uh, will this be the this interruption be the shift in momentum that Red Bayo and Ben need to take this match? I don't know. Let's find out. Nurse, oh, Nurse, getting caught with that uh, Corin's up air. Not being careful, focusing too much on Red Bayo and not paying enough respect to that. But by the looks of it, right now we're being at 120 percent, Corin being at 78 percent. Ness still at a fresh 70% and clouds with two stocks. It really looks like this first game is going to go I like to think that. I really do. But if there's one thing Smash 4 has taught me, and I've said it a few times in this cast already, uh, Smash 4, you never know who's going to win for the last stock falls. That's true, seeing how Red Bayo himself has not even been in the Look at that! Upbeat kill. Okay. Now one v two. I don't know how that happened. Oh, one v one. Yep. Can Red Bayo use that amazing technical skill that he sh he showed in the single well, tournament? The, well, that's the thing right now. It's just one back throw. It's one, uh, it's one throw. Period. It's something. It's just about anything. There's a lot of groundwork to cover right now. Yeah, Although but she gets top here and she does counter Ness as, I, as we saw from Zero and Cold Matchup at Evo 2K15. But, yeah, the spacing right now is too perfect from Red Bayo himself. Yeah, if there's one thing we've seen throughout this tournament, Sheik is really good at comboing and putting on damage. Like, there's no question that he can't, that he could win. He could. It's possible. Ness is actually now in kill range. So this is really... Oh, bouncing fish miss. He just needs one grab or one smash. This is so tense. You can literally chew the air in the room. That's how tense it is. Oh, forward air. Oh, 
Oh, that Nair. Beautiful spacing. Oh! Oh, what a comeback! Red Bayo and Ven take the first game over Ichiban and Nersh. Holy crap. What an incredible first game. Like I said, you never know how it's going to go till the last stock falls. Oh. Alright, game two. Let's see where they decide to go. Lilac Cruise? Lilac Cruise? I think we all pretty much don't... Oh, no. Town and City? Town and City. Apparently we're going to Town and City. Little different, little different from uh, Smashville, but you know, not too crazy. So the thing about the, the difference between Town and City and Smashville are the, um, the moving platform itself, the quantity of platform. The platform right now will help shoot with the air, with the air against Corrin can really pick the ground flat platform, throw him up while shooting his things up in the air. However, Ness and Cloud, I'm not really sure about their synergy when it comes to platform. Cloud generally is a lot better on flatter stages, such as Smashville and Final Destiny. His air, his air game is amazing, but his air to ground is not that strong. Uh, I, isn't there a difference in the blast zones between Smashville and Tennessee? Yeah, yeah, but right now I'm talking about Cloud's air. Uh, right now I'm talking about Cloud's air to ground. Uh, I think he's fine with that. His, the main weakness with Cloud is the recovery. I think what's really going to be a deciding factor in this game, I think, because it was Ichiban and Nurse who picked. So I think what they said was, we can't let them get to that high percentage survive. So that's, they, that's, that's the thing, too. The reason why I would choose this, and I do play the game, the reason why I would choose this stage over town, uh, over Smashville is because the right and left blasters are actually closer. And isn't it in the top five zone shorter? Like it's a lot either, shorter. Though. Right. So with something like, you know, back throw or Cloud's up air, which kills very readily, I think this is a really great stage pick, and it, I think it plays to their strengths very well. But at the same time, it only, it only takes one bounce to get into the black game. You're right. I mean, obviously there's some risks to it, but if they were having trouble killing last game, if they let Red Bayo Sheik get up to 150% crack and still lose, that's a problem. That's not a problem. That's max race versus... Um, yes, who is not fast enough to handle the deal or the stage or the combo. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, it's a huge problem. So they went, you know what, we're gonna play a match where we uh, play a map where we can kill you here and we don't have to sit and brew that again. Really nice side for me. Oh Ben, great kill off the end. Let's see, it is four stocks to two. Red Bayo still at low percentage. Um, I think they're still a bit out of sorts from the last game. I don't think they expected them to come back. Because they were pretty, pretty heavily it's handled. Really, when it comes down to a fight, now it's about the mental game as well. That comeback is really hard to recover, especially because they didn't take a break in two games. They just went jump right into it. Sometimes you do need to take a break. Take Gimmer, for example. Gimmer does like walking around after every match. Taking a little 30 second breather. Taking a little 30 second breather. But that's just, you know, he really, he really takes his time before every game. He calculates it. Because your mental game has to, to play oh at this goodness. level. Ichiban just getting juggled by these two people, by these two characters. I, I honestly, I think this is gonna be game. Unless he can, you know, make a pretty crazy comeback, which Cloud's capable of doing. But is he, is he three stocks capable? There goes Van. So now it's Cloud versus Red Bay. two stocks versus one stock. Sheik with a two stock lead with a 100% lead. But we know how good Red Veo is in the 1v1. He just won the singles tournament. Like, it, this is going to be a monumental tax if Red Veo, I'm sorry, if Ichiban's going to come back for the win. Huh. And like I said, there we go. Red Veo, then 2 0 Ichiban and Nurse. What a fantastic game. That first round, that first game was fantastic. Honestly, it was. Beautiful to watch, an incredible comeback, some questionable things with the pauses, but otherwise, just a joy to watch. Uh, I think we're gonna get another game set up here pretty quick. Yep, that is the end of that for winner's bracket. I have no idea who's coming up next. We're gonna find out. Please stick around, this Get Smash UNLV 11, Kirby's Kahlua. We have a lot of great Smash coming up for you. I think they're just playing around while we figure out the next match. Thank you for watching, we hope to see you uh, in a couple of minutes.
No, it's still going. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Apparently, this is winter finals. That was a little bit of commentator error. We're gonna we're gonna fix the overlay here and get it get into the third match. Uh, that's kind of a good thing. Oh well. Uh, on the bright side, means we get to see another match in this awesome, awesome game. Uh, so the back of Smash Bros. Right now. Not ben counter killed Ness's up beat. For the back of Smash Bros. Right and. Oh, and Cloud screams and he's off the screen. So let's see, that's the first two stocks taken by Red Bayo and Ben. It's going really well. I'm joined here by Devin. Devin? PKD. PT, just PT. PT? Joined here by PT. Oh, this is an exciting match. Um. What's going on? Uh, winner's finals here at Get Smash Up. They're actually relatively even. Uh, Ness is taking... Ness is getting kind of high in percentage, but otherwise, you know, it's not too bad. Definitely a little bit more even than the last game. Yes, absolutely. Uh, will they be able to take advantage of it, or will Venom, you know, Red Bayo be able to kill him off pretty quick? I think that that might be a problem. Personally, I think they they haven't really had many problems killing. Oh, so overpowered. Just so everyone knows, that's why they're doing so. Try casting, here's Celso Favela. Go by two times, but I really, my name is Celso. What's up? Get closer and speak loud. You guys were saying, if Nerf and Pizza Von lose this game, that's they're it. Set, no, they're saying they're losing. Oh, yeah. They can still be oh, this is still winners. All right. This is winners. Right this is winners' final. Okay. After this is grand final. Losers' final is actually going on right behind us. So, if. Wait, hold on. Dude, that is so good. Don't they get followed down in losers' finals after. They, they still got one more chance. Yes, right. Yeah, that's, right. Yeah. that's what I just said. Then we're in, loser, <laughs> then we're in losers' semis. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, look, it's looking final. bad though. Right. Losers, they have a chance to lose. Right, right, right. Come back. I'm sorry. Kill, no, kill him. Kill him. He's yeah. loud. Oh, dude, if he gets a double. Right. Well, that's the thing. Clyde is at 101%. We're one stock. Corrin. Oh, yeah. Team Red Bale. Oh. <laughs> Team Red Bale then actually has two. Stocks now, with two to one, with 100, 101% extra, 108%. Cloud's getting juggled off. Oh, bouncing fish! And that ends the game. 3 0, Red Bayo and Ben oh, yeah, over Ichiban and Nerd. Red Team.